This is Harley Street where all the top medical boffins work, all up and down this street. And I've arrived at one particular building called the London Clinic because I'm going to see somebody who is one of the absolute top specialists in ENT, ear, nose and throat. His name is Michael Waring. And he's going to be able to show me the mechanism behind my voice. Now, like lots of people, if you use your voice for your living, you wake up in the morning. If it's not there, you can't work. So I'm really fascinated by what is in this little box of tricks we call the voice box. And I'm told that Michael has a camera that can show me. So with some trepidation, here we go. OK, Michael, I'm ready, I'm ready. What have you done to my nose? Something's happened here. OK, so we've sprayed your nose with some decongestant and some local anaesthetic. Right. The decongestant aims to shrink the lining down. And obviously you can imagine that shrinking the lining down is a good idea since we're going to be putting this small Let's take a good look at this. endoscope right. up, the, up your nose. OK. All right. So, all right, on we go. OK, on we go. So we're going to good luck. have a look at your nose. So I'll actually sort of... OK, so the first thing we see on the right-hand side is your septum. You've got a little bit of a spur. Meaning? A um, little bit of bone. Uh, that's there, and then on the left-hand side, there's the inferior turbinate, which is one of the three uh, sort of bones on the lateral wall of the nose. Look okay? Uh, they look absolutely fine. So we're just advancing the, the telescope. Uh, such an odd feeling. Oh my goodness, that is such an odd feeling. Oof! Well done. So this is the, we're into the back of the nose. Uh -huh. uh, there is the tube going up to your ear. So that's a eustachian tube. So if you swallow. Mm. We can sort of see that opening a bit. Okay, does that look all right? That looks absolutely fine. Good. And then on the back here is, this is the post-nasal space, and this is where your adenoids have regressed. They've sort of disappeared. Um, you've and we're going to go forward now, and we're looking down, and we can see at the bottom your uvula, which is a bit that <laughs> dangles down, <laughs> yeah. and uh, it's just disappeared from view, and the base of your tongue. Yeah, okay. And then we can see your epiglottis, Okay, so you're, doing, you're making good progress here. Oh, we're making excellent progress. We can see Feels very strange. many of the important things. So if you just go, ee, ee, that looks fine. Okay. Ee. Can you see my voice box? Sir? See your voice box, just breathe normally. Just count to five. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, that's great. I don't know if, okay, so we'll just do a bit of the stroboscopy. So the stroboscopy is when we play a light. Okay. And if you go, so we can see a sort of a waving noise. motion. Okay. I'm going to. So I'm just, I'm just going to actually advance the, the camera a little bit closer to get a really try and quite a good view of the course. So just concentrate okay. just on breathing normally. Okay. Okay. Deep breath in. So as you take a deep breath in, your cords open up slightly. A little. I'll come back a little bit, a little cough. <coughs> <coughs> or <coughs> like that. <coughs> That's it, good. Okay. So we're coming out, we're back in the nose. Again, we're, we're looking up. Up the top left there is the middle turbinate. The dark bit on the left mm. is where the sinus is drained. And we'll take it out. You right? Yeah, I must say, I didn't really do that. Ooh. Well, <laughs> I don't know what to make of that. Because right at the centre of this whole operation is a, an object, I, I, the shape of which I was surprised to see. It looks like some kind of sea creature pulsing away, almost as if it had a life of its own. And yet I depend on it so much I feel I need to get into a bit of a relationship with it. Look after it. Precious little voice box.